<laughs> I can't make this stuff up. Well, hello there, you beautiful people. How are you guys on this? Uh... I'm not going to say it. You know, it could be a lot colder. Back home, negative 29. I'm getting real sick of talking about weather. You guys are probably sick of hearing me talk about weather. The service trucks over here, they've been quite busy. A lot, a lot of trucks around here with their hoods up trying to get them running, I think. Those tires are froze though, aren't they? Woo. We gotta try to get that ice off the top of the hood. Woo! Another brisk one this morning, guys, but I really don't want to talk about weather. Gosh, I don't want to talk about weather. It's just when you make these videos, it's 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 the only thing, it's something that's happening around you, so you just talk about it. We're gonna swing to not there. Okay, we're pulling here. No, we won't pull it. Ouch. Somebody hit one of their pumps last night. We don't need we don't need fuel. But I need fuel. So we're gonna swing in here really quick, grab something to get us motivated, and then uh, carry on. We're starting our day at Walcott. Iowa 80 truck stop, the largest truck stop in the world. I don't know, I do not know how many parking spots this truck stop has. I think they say over 500 parking spots. They were full last night, man, they were completely full. I'm gonna run in here, then guess what? Let's go do some trucking. to make a detour unfortunately for all these guys that aren't running CB radios they're gonna be stuck in traffic the way it sounds it sounds like a semi jackknife right on the bridge I've been a car smacked into them and it happened about a half an hour ago so we're gonna whip it around here and get out of here and hit it right back the way we can and jump back up on interstate 80 and go around it just one of the perks of running a CB out here on the big road guys
Well, we've made it to Oakwood. Yeah, it's Oakwood, Illinois. We picked a really bad loves to pull into. Half of their pumps aren't working, and apparently I'm going to go ahead and assume that they don't have a snow plow here. A lot of snow. And it's a mess. Oh, wait. No, never mind. There's a snow plow right over there. They just... Whoa, whoa. Come on. Hood gets heavy. Hood gets very heavy when she gets a lot of snow on it. We're going to check everything out, make sure everything's good to go, then get out of here. Let's just do that. Let's, let's not do anything. Let's just check everything, then get out of here. Opie, I know. I'm sorry. I'm grumpy. I know. I, I truly am sorry. It always seems there's at least one day in my daily videos here that I'm a little grumpy, but... Alright. Let's go drive the truck.
Ohio, I want to thank you for the heat. It feels great. We are sitting at 14 degrees right now. Oh, Schmidt, how is that remotely heat? Well, right now, oh, last night, negative 28 back home. I'm going to go ahead and say that it is, uh, I'm just going to take a guess and bet you it's around that negative 10 back home. So we are really warm compared to back home. Plus, your snow here is just, it's flakes. I want to, you know, I, I'd like to say lake effect snow, but I don't think that's lake effect snow, is it? It's just flakes. Same kind of snow you'd find, per se, in the mountains. Fluffy, powder. All right, a couple things. Did you guys see it when we were coming into town here? Right Way ahead of myself. Okay, guys, right now we're in Dayton, Ohio. We are unloading our load of chicken feed. I think I may have forgotten to tell you guys that earlier. I'm pretty sure, I'm almost positive, I forgot to tell you guys that earlier. It's never a good sign when you have to unhook from your trailer and leave your trailer over there with them. Did you guys see it? I, I'm almost certain you Canadians might have seen it. There was a Tim Hortons here in uh, Dalton. Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, a Tim Hortons. I didn't think we had Tim Hortons in America. I've heard so many Canadians talk about Tim Hortons. I mean, it was, it's closed now, of course, but I've heard so many Canadians talk about Tim Hortons and how it's the best thing on the planet Earth. Yeah, yeah I know. But Dad, why are you talking about coffee? We should be running, it's so nice out. It's so beautiful. I know, I know, yeah? Okay, okay. I must walk. Opie, where are we gonna walk? Okay, we can walk on the concrete at least. There's no grass, of course. There never will be grass again. It's always going to be a polar vortex everywhere we go, but it is warmer. Tim Hortons, holy smokes. Tim Hortons in good old America. Is there a lot of Tim Hortons in America? I thought they are I thought they were just a Canadian thing. I don't know, either which way. I was kind of impressed. Looked clean, looked nice. I don't drink coffee, so I, I, I don't know what to tell you on that part. I just heard so many people talk about it. But after this load, we're going to uh, go back to Indianapolis. Yeah, we're gonna run back to Indianapolis and we will grab our reload there that goes back to Sioux City, Iowa. Any of you guys wanna climb up there? Come on. Way up there on the top of the sleeper. I hate it when those cab lights go out. That's a hard reach for me. I'm tall, but I'm also a big boy, so that's a hard reach for me. Can you guys climb up there for me? Come on, you know you want to. Right now, though, I need to find some bulbs. I know I have bulbs for those cab lights. The really good part is those cab... Okay, the good part is those cab lights won't be there come spring. Well, there'll still be lights there, but we have full intentions. I have full intentions on uh, getting rid of them. And putting LED ones up there. Same type, the square ones. I don't like that push button stuff. But until then, we gotta keep them going. You know how in life you guys meet very organized people? Or you watch people on YouTube that are very organized? There's one person I watch on YouTube all the time. He does by no means need me to uh, advertise his channel. But it, it's Super Trucker Dan probably one of the most down-to-earth straight shooting truck drivers you ever will meet I mean I, in my opinion um, if you're going to look forward look up to a truck driver especially in that flatbed industry it would be him but every time he opens his side boxes or every time he opens up one of his tool boxes Everything has a place. Everything is organized. And I would say, oh, well, he's just running in warm weather. He can do that in warm weather. No, no. He might live in warm weather. But where he runs, it's cold. So, I just wish I was more like him in the organization around. I mean, that is just... I love that. When you open up your box and everything is organized... You know, these little lights I'm looking for, he probably has them in a little case 
sitting there ready to go three just opens it up and there they are me well close your eyes for a minute we are now one less dome light inside the truck but I did find two bulbs you're wondering why I need two bulbs I have two cab lights out when I told you guys to climb up there and change that one for me I happened to look at the bottom row and one's out there everything is shot ah fiddle fiddle all right well I'm gonna go up there upstairs and change those bulbs if I fall will you guys uh, kind of help me up It's about to get ugly. Well, that was a strike and a miss with first class and her uh, parking lights or her cab lights. On a plus load, it only took them an hour to unload us and we're unloaded. We're gonna get the trailer washed out. And then our reload is not too far from getting the trailer washed out. Unfortunately, they're not gonna reload us till tomorrow morning, which is fine. We'll go to bed, get all rested up, because uh, I told my dad I was just talking to him on the phone. I told him I'm done. I'm done parking for snowstorms. I'm done being safe. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I, I'm just. Everything takes too long now. It, it, it's time to just stay moving. So we're gonna get washed out, get loaded tomorrow, and then we have another snowstorm rolling in. If it follows the same path as it did yesterday for this last storm. We should be good to go. And if it doesn't follow the same path and it comes up to Iowa and we're going across to Iowa, you're just going to have to call me an ice road trucker because we're going to go through it. We've made it to uh, Indianapolis, Indiana right now. We're gonna get reloaded right there in the morning. Yeah, Ope, you're gonna have to jump over the pile of snow to get to the uh, more snow. As for those bulbs, we're gonna go ahead and replace those right now. Yeah, it cooled back down. It is 
in the single digits but if I wait to do it till tomorrow you guys know me when I wake up in the morning do I really want to do that no not really I barely want to function when I wake up ha! <laughs> I can't make this stuff up oh yeah cab lights yeah strike two um, the center cab light there on the first floor that one right there is the wires are fried to it uh, the one on the second floor on the outside stuff's just too slick for me to climb up on the roof I don't want to fall off in Indianapolis and have a busted leg it's just shot the truck's good but every ounce of wire every light on this truck is just shot I'm done I'm, I'm trying to wait till spring I don't think I'm gonna I think we're gonna push hard night uh, we're gonna push as hard as we can I'm kind of being stubborn on what I'm gonna run and what I'm not gonna run right now because this time of the year rates can be kind of touch and go but we're gonna push as hard as I can for a couple weeks I think I think the first part of March don't hold me to it just in case but the first part of March it's going it's going somewhere because uh, you guys have yourself a great evening stay warm please especially down in your southern states because I'm hearing horror stories about you guys not having power down there and uh, you guys are in my thoughts man I, I'm really worried about you down there um, it's through Keep yourself safe, as always, I'll see you tomorrow. I've had a headache all day today. You guys ever recognize how bad people drive when you have a headache? That's the way it's been going today. I've had a headache all day, and uh, everybody just seems to be driving really bad. It has nothing to do with me having a headache and being impatient. Nothing at all to do with it.